So I'm 32 years old. I was hired as archivist when I was 25, and then Ed Ford recommended me to be the next historian when I was 28. I'm the youngest historian in Kingston's history, but not in New York State. I talked to the New York State archivist, Tom Roller. He actually became historian of his town when he was 14. So believe it or not, in some communities, I am an older historian. My day-to-day -day in the Ulster County Archives is helping researchers find what they're looking for, rehousing any documents that may need rehousing. His um, success can really be attributed to his ability to tell the story of history he does that through working at the person house. He uh, gives the tours, he creates the exhibit, he manages the staff and, and our guest hosts for the weekend. In addition, Taylor represents the office at many special events, radio appearances, presentations. But a lot of it is um, helping people. Either they're writing a paper, they're writing a book, they're doing their family genealogy, and they want to know if they can find something in our records. The one thing that makes him so good at what he does right now is he just can never get enough information. I think that curiosity, ever since he was could talk, really is carrying him through right now because he, there's just an endless need for him to learn about everything. So my mom worked in the archives of the Senate House for a long time. So she would take me to all these museums all around the Hudson Valley and um, show me what she was doing for work. And I thought it was really interesting. I honestly never thought that I would end up um, working in history because she would tell me how difficult it is to find a job in history. I think that's one thing that I really tried to pump into him. Like you, you do this out of love, not out of recognition, money, or any of those things, you do it because you want to get to the bottom of everything and tell the great stories of Kingston. I went to college at uh, SUNY Ulster and then SUNY New Paltz, Kingston High School graduate. In college, because of uh, my mom you know, telling me how difficult history jobs can be to find, I went to college for marketing and finance. I was a business major, which I think actually helps a lot because a lot of archives is accessibility. We have a really unique archives in Ulster County because we have a museum, Matthews Person House, that dates all the way back to 1661. So when I applied for the job, Nina Posterpeck, our county clerk, said, you know, a part of this job is managing the museum. The marketing experience really came in handy and I think that's part of the reason I got the job. I pitched myself on that. Not only do I know the local history, I know how to take care of these documents, but we can get more people to come to the museum. He's great at forging relationships, making meaningful connections with the people around him, and I think his marketing ability came through in that aspect. I'm from here. I always felt like I genuinely loved it here. It's a really, really fascinating place to live. That's another reason that Ed Ford recommended me to be historian. He said, do you plan on staying here? So I told him I already bought a house, you know, I'm not going anywhere. I learned everything about being a public historian from Ed, which is separate from being an academic historian. Public historians do a lot of promotion, and that's something Ed was really good at. Letting people know that the history here matters, we need to fight for it. It's a big reason we still have City Hall. And so Ed always told me, letting people know that history is important is your number one priority goals for the future. Some immediate goals are to catalog and digitize Ed Ford's collection. Then we always have projects coming up every year. The Kingston Guards vintage baseball team is a really exciting one that we just launched last summer. Herzog's has generously allowed us to use the Herzog's field in the plaza for our home games. So going forward, I'd like to sort of vintage a fi the field and uh, make it feel like an old-timey baseball stadium. That'll be really fun. But the 250th anniversary of the Revolutionary War is coming up, and so revitalizing the burning of Kingston is on my radar. It's the most special thing that's happened so far. I've not ever won an award. It's amazing to be recognized for like all the hard work. He is a leader, and I think these leadership qualities will come through for years to come, and he really will enrich the lives of the people of Ulster County. Very blessed to have Taylor Brook as our county archivist and part of our community. Taylor works nine to five in the archives, but five to whenever he falls asleep is usually when he's on the computer doing everything else. And 
I love that he's able to do that and I can be by his side. I can witness this, but also be with him and be part of that journey. He somehow makes more hours in the day and I think Ulster County is better off having him here. As emerging young leader, I think it just speaks volumes to what I see. So I guess that is proof in a way that people see what I see and it just I can't stop smiling. I especially need to thank Ward Todd, the whole chamber, of course, for awarding me this and considering me at all. I, of course, have to thank Nina Postropek, the county clerk. None of this could have ever happened without her giving me the chance seven years ago. Ed Ford, there's not enough I can possibly say about that guy. And I remember growing up, um, we would watch award ceremonies, my mother and I, and she would always say, he didn't even thank his mother and he wouldn't even be here without his mother so mom lisa brooke thank you this would not at all be possible without you in more ways than one love ya i am a very proud mom and i really do think that it's going to be my kid that's going to be world famous <laughs>